Known for both its mountains and its beaches, North Carolina is also famous for being the first in flight, good barbecue, and home of some of the greatest teams and athletes in the world. But three connected cities that make up the Piedmont Triad area of the Tar Heel State have some of the richest black history and culture found in the entire country. And on this episode, we're going to put you right up in the mix. Coming up on Cafe Mocha, we top off our journey around the big three of the Carolina Corps as we make our way to one of the biggest little gyms in the state, High Point. Everyone knows the community is only as strong as the people who live there. And High Point, North Carolina is a shining example of that. This quaint American town operates like a big city, solely because of its business owners and its residents. With constant growth and diversity, the city of High Point continues to pave the way for innovation in the manufacturing and entertainment sectors. Known as the home furnishings capital of the world, High Point is home to the High Point Market, the world's largest wholesale home furnishing show open to retailers and design professionals. The city of High Point's Catalyst Project is also bringing 15 to 20 new restaurants and shops, a centralized gathering space, and 250 new residential housing units to the area surrounding the newly opened baseball stadium of the High Point Rockers. Creating not only space, but opportunities for entrepreneurs to grow and develop their own business ventures and create avenues for women and minority owned businesses as well. Well, one woman wanted to come back home to High Point, North Carolina to build her business, but she didn't stop there. She found a way to help other businesses elevate their brands and excel when it comes to black excellence. Whitney Middlebrooks, the founder and CEO of Black Lux and Company. Let's talk about how you got into this business and what the vision was when you started out with Black Lux and Company. My background in education is graphic design, marketing and communications. And I've always been very in the trenches of black people, people that look like me, issues that affect me. And so I wanted to have that platform where I can create my business that elevates black excellence, along with offering those services um, to smaller entrepreneurs as well. Let's talk about the Black Luck yep. Expo. So you've been doing this now for a few years. Yes. And how did you get that started? What has the community response been? Well. So honestly, it was literally just to announce my business initially. And when I tell you this thing has grown to the point where I can't even believe it, but I'm so grateful that people want to be involved. You hundreds of businesses that are actually traveling as far as Florida to come to High Point, North Carolina. I'll be like, I did that. So this year we're actually creating more experiences. So we're gonna have live music. We'll also have a financial part where God's gonna give us some, some information about financial wellness, uh, financial literacy. And we also have partnered with another sponsor to do some mobile health screenings for um, diabetes, um, high blood pressure. It's just so key to me to just connect us. We got stuff for the kids. Literally, there's something for everyone. What's your vision for this expo? Where do you see it in the next 10 years? Wow, I see the expo just being the thing to think about of the year. Like, when's the expo? When's the expo? My goal is to keep it here and grow it, expand, get other celebrities and other talent and entertainment come to High Point. Not only just the furniture market, but coming for the expo to revel in black excellence, entrepreneurship, and everything in between.